And my first session in prolonged exposure therapy was very um, anxious. I, I needed a Valium, uh, not a Valium, a Xanax to go. And um, most of it was just introductory stuff. So I'll, I was kind of setting myself up for, you know, anxiousness that I didn't need. But it was the second session that was the hardest. And that was when we went through all of my traumas. I have more than one. Most veterans do. And you have to choose which one is the worst, which one affects you the most, which one gives you the most flashbacks and nightmares. And that one was really hard. And the therapist asks you questions, and uh, you have to answer them and scale them and really think about it. And I, I don't know, with me, it was a, it, there were things that I didn't want to think about and I hadn't thought about in years. My, my trauma that we actually focused on happened when I was eight, so it had nothing to do with the military. But um, that was the one that we thought would help me the most. And so the idea behind prolonged exposure therapy is if you work on your worst trauma, then it naturally brings all your other ones down too. It kind of works on all of them at the same time.